What's what up? What is up? You guys. You guys. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back to another uh, video. Today's video, well, it's gonna be a what we eat in a week. We're it's basically vlog style. Yeah. But what we eat in a full what we eat in a full week. Yes. These are all of <clears throat> our slash mine go to slash recipes. Mine. We know who does most of the cooking in this house, yeah. but anyway, so this will be most of my beautiful face in this video, but um, I'll be showing you guys all of our recipes that we always post about, our salmon, yeah. Caesar salad, lunch recipes. But just the stuff. whole thing, like breakfast, lunch, and dinner, like what we eat. We don't really eat breakfast normally, but we do have coffee, so we'll take you with us to grab coffee each morning. Yes, and like maybe that some juices. I got why. some fruit juices. What? You didn't have coffee didn't today? I didn't have coffee today. So that's why what? I was in a bad mood. Why? I have like a headache. Mm. Have a withdrawals. I know. I didn't really have coffee either, but I got sick from my coffee yesterday, so I didn't have it today. Mm, wow. Shocking. Wow. I know. Okay. Anyway, so that's it. We just wanted to introduce this video, yeah. and it's just gonna be like pieced together. It's just like meals and how tos and stuff like that. So. Yeah. So hope you enjoy. Enjoy. So for lunch, we usually do like salads or veggie plates, different stuff like that. I'm gonna make our classic veggie plate today. It's basically a bunch of raw vegetables, some hummus, guacamole, and a little bit of like protein, like rotisserie chicken or turkey or something. So I'm just gonna chop it all up. To me, it tastes better fresh when you like get all the vegetables like whole and then you cut them up. It just tastes better than buying the like pre-cut veggies. I don't know what it is, but just tastes better. So. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, so here's what the veggie plates look like. You can use whatever you want. I've got cauliflower, cucumber, carrots, broccoli, rotisserie chicken, and then I'm gonna put a few multi-grain chips and a scoop of hummus and scoop of guacamole. So this is lunch, and probably have some water with it. And let's see which one's bigger. I'll give it to Hunter. Here you go. Thank you, babe. Mm -hmm. Now for vlog, almost done. On its way. <laughs> it's about 4.30, and I kind of want a little snack. So I'm gonna make Hunter and I a little snack of ski. So, I just got this at the store today. I'm gonna try. It's coconut milk yogurt, just a non dairy option, and then some granola on top of that. So, let's see how it tastes. Thanks for following along. I want some of that. Ooh, we're splitting it. Do I am over here? One snack? Oh my god. I'm like so hungry. It's I'm like five out of bits. I five brought it over. Mmm. Mmm. Good, huh? Okay, so it's time for dinner. Sorry, the sun is setting and it is like right there. Um, so, actually. Perfect. Okay, so this is uh, our favorite dinner. It's not only the easiest dinner, the best tasting, it is fast and it's just so good. When we're at so home simple. for the week, we'll have this meal at least one day out of We the, like always usually week. have it on Monday because we'll the buy the salmon. Yeah, it's really, it's really bright. Yeah, so we'll do it one day out of the week because like Julie mentioned, we buy the salmon. You want to do it like early on either Monday or Tuesday during the week. Yeah. Just because you want the fish to go bad in the refrigerator. Right. So I'm going to show you just how easy it is. Okay, pan. I should be cutting the corner already. That's done. The fish itself. Can you try? Salmon. Foil goes on the cookie sheet. Next. That's sun reflector. Literally. So all you do, and this is just for easy cleanup, by the way. Yeah, exactly. Literally take the salmons. Take the salmon. Take the salmon. You put them on the sheet. And that's it, folks. And that's it. That's it, and we literally put it in the oven for Some people put like salt and pepper on. We do it after. We do it after. Yeah. Good to go? Good to go. Is that too heated? Yeah, 
Okay. 20 minutes? 20 men. Hi, Goose. Tiny men yet. Oh, Goose has to do his. What'd you set it for? 450? 400. What Goose is having for dinner is um, some dry food. So I just cut the corn and I did it onto this pan instead of a cutting board because last time I did it onto a cutting board, corn went everywhere. And so I'm doing it onto a pan. And also instead of like doing it into like a small bowl where you just like are, it's kind of getting all over the place also, you can do it on a pan and then transition it and move it over to a bowl. We've got just a few more things to add to the corn salad. Okay, so what we're gonna do, Hunter already cut all of the corn off. You literally just cut it off raw off of the cob. I've tried cooking it and then chilling it, it's not the same. You really just want it raw. It tastes so much better, it's really crunchy, it's great. You need a bundle of mint, some heirloom tomatoes, which we are going to cut, and some feta cheese. You can use crumbled, but I like to get it fresh from the cheese department and cut it myself. So, here we go, we're gonna have a chopping party. Here we go. And then I'll show you guys just how I toss it and then we're gonna eat. And all I do is give it a little toss. This bowl is a little bit small. And I'm just gonna drizzle with a little olive oil. And pull the salmon out. Not very much, just super lightly. Just a touch. And I think just a little bit of pepper. Not even salt, because we've got that feta in there. It's super salty. about this is just literally fold up the foil throw it in the trap and that's it your pan's already clean but here's the finished product and it's one of our favorite meals it's so good it is so bomb i love it so cheers add pepper to your liking pepper and salt so we are also having a little beer with our food. We call these micheladas, but I know they're not micheladas. Micheladas usually have clamato juice in them as well. Yeah, we don't um, like the clamato. We, we do like it. Yeah. I like it. You like it? I do like it, yeah. Um, it's like tomato clam juice mixed together. But usually in the summer, what we do is just a little bit of lime juice, ice, and a beer. So good. And it's a good little salt. combo. We only salt the rim, but I don't really care for that. Cheers. Hurry up, boo. It's coming. No, oh, no. Okay. And I did mine in a taller cup. Drink. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. It's the best meal. Mm. It's not fair. So I'm gonna make some coffee. I'm gonna go iced because it's 100 degrees outside and I just can't deal with the hot coffee. So I've got ice in my mug. And I'm gonna use my little contraption that Hunter and I always show. It's actually really cool, a friend gave this to us. You can get it on Amazon. And it's for iced coffee, like when you basically want to make hot coffee into iced. It's called a cold wave. And you can get it on Amazon. So it's really nifty, I'll show you how it works. Put this contraption in the top. You can hear it cooling it down. It's very satisfying. I just let it leave it in there for a minute, let it kind of cool. It basically turns it into cold coffee and you could just instantly pour it over ice. So I'm gonna do a little bit of cream. I always do a little half and half with my coffee. I've tried um, like oat milk, I've tried almond milk creamers and 
to be quite honest they're just not the same just nothing does it for me like half and half in my coffee so that is kind of like the only milk that i drink i don't really drink any other milk so you know what i'm fine i'm not gonna die and that's that and it's perfect and it's cold so you don't have to like melt all your ice cubes trying to use hot coffee get my straw a straw mmm mm. delish I crushed it. Okay, you guys, it is lunchtime, and normally we would eat lunch at home, but today we have a business meeting out and about, so we are at Getting Out Burger! I don't think I've ever, I don't think I've ever had in and out for lunch, but it was right by it, and I was like kind of craving it, so I'm excited. So this is what we're having, and Diet quick. Coke. You literally get in and out of there. You're in and thing. out in a few minutes. Yeah. Um, I got a protein style burger, so it's wrapped in lettuce. Can I guess and your order? Fry. You got a protein style, animal style, well you done fries. It. You already know. Diet Coke, in DC. We'll show you. It's so good. Oh. Yum. Did. Okay. okay. Go ahead over. Okay. This is mine. The um, protein style and fries, and Hunter got a regular burger with fries. So. We're gonna eat, we're running late, but just wanted to show you. Scolding. Just wanted to show you what we're eating. Jeez. Perfect, just the way I like them. I like everything piping hot. Yeah. Dragon. Burned your mouth. That's why, Dragon she, that's why she chose me. Oh my god. Have them hot, yeah. <laughs> okay, it's dinner. And we're just terribly failing today at eating. Like, it's bad, you guys. Sometimes this happens, you know, yeah. you're on the go. What are you gonna do? Sandwich, some fries. Enjoy his, uh, so we're at Chick fil A. Salad. At Chick fil A, and I, this is my Chick fil A order. I post about it all the time. I get a Cobb salad, no bacon, no egg, creamy salsa dressing, and I mix some of this packet with some hot sauce. And if I'm at home, I do sriracha. She already ate her sandwich too. I'm no, sure. I wish. Oh my God, I wish I could have a sandwich. And Hunter's having a sandwich, so yum. This is what we're having for dinner. Well, it's not the best day, but we'll get back on it tomorrow. What's up, you guys? Okay, it is uh, Wednesday. And I did not show you guys what I had this morning for breakfast, but it was just a nice coffee. So, um, <laughs> I didn't we literally just had liquid fuel. But I'm starving right now. I just made us the snack veggie plates. We just like really loved these the other day. Here's yours, Hunter. They were so good. So it's the exact same thing. It's kind of our go-to. That I made the other day. We make this yeah. a lot, actually. It's so good. Yeah. It's like because you get a lot of veggies in but it's still satisfying, and I'm telling you, like, the guacamole really took it to the next oh, level. Because normally we just do hummus, but the guacamole, and it's just amazing. So, really good way to get some veggies in, but I'm telling you, you have to chop the veggies fresh. Like, do not get them pre-bagged or already cut or anything, because it's just not the same, so. It's also nice that you, you can do chicken, you don't have to do chicken. Like, we've yeah. done in the past like salami slices and stuff like that. Oh, so, we have fresh salami. You know. <gasps> it's because of our nose. That sounds delicious. Um, I'm gonna try a new recipe this week, actually. Maybe I'll do it tonight, but I'm really liking the guacamole, too. Mm. And sparkling water. Mm. Let's we'll see what we have tonight for dinner. I need to drink a lot of water today. I try to drink like well I try to drink a gallon a day but that can get a lot hard sometimes so at least 60 ounces or 90 ounces like a lot of water how many ounces in a gallon oh no google it 128 yeah so so 60 ounces is close to half that's, and if you, that's like, that's a lot. if you just have the gallon container, it's not that bad because you can track it. But I don't always have a gallon container, so anyways. All right, what we should do, we should get a two gallon like little dispenser. Mm. 
And you can just spill it every day. And you and I should try, our goal should be to drink the whole thing collectively together. Great idea. Okay, we're gonna eat, but that's where I'm for lunch. Are you ready for breakfast? Because I am. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Hunter is working, and this is an update for the what we eat. So, starting it off with a glass of sparkling water with lime. I feel like the coffee machine is not going. It's done. That's fast. Yeah, it's not going. Okay. Starting off with a glass of sparkling water and a little lime. And we had sushi for dinner last night, which tends to leave you a little hungry sometimes. So we're making breakfast. And I was like, you know what? I just want, I don't really eat breakfast that often. Usually it's like an on the go thing. So I'm like, let's like cook some bacon. We'll make some toast and eggs. I'm just like really hungry. So I want like a filling breakfast. So we're just, Kind of cooking. Hunter is doing some emails, and I'm gonna make a little breakfast. Okay, I'm really upset because I'm gonna pour this in here and let it cool off for a few minutes so I can pour it over ice and make iced coffee. I'm upset because normally I get the vanilla cinnamon pecan coffee at Central Market, and I went this week and I thought it was clever, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna put a little hazelnut beans in it just to like make a little custom mixture. Well, the hazelnut beans, just the third of the bag of hazelnut, can we just, <laughs> totally threw off the, well, he, he, he the flavor. Bacon. He wants bacon, he's sitting like a statue, like a garden gnome. Um, okay. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, this is advanced. Okay, you guys, we got these. Freaking amazing. I wanna use the effort, word, but I can't. Um, I bought them. These egg pan tins at Walmart. Look how small uh, they are. I bought them. Thank small they are much. compared. They're literally, okay, great. You can get uh, I bought them. But they are, I mean, this doesn't look crispy enough. It, it'll be. It'll crisp up. You cook it more. And this is just enough for like two eggs. It's like, a non, it's like the best nonstick pan I've ever The used. best nonstick pan ever. And when you make it, like, you don't want to have to clean like an entire pan when you make one egg. So like, these are so convenient. Like, we felt so tacky getting them because they're like one of those infomercials, but it's actually the most practical thing in the world. Okay, we always get pasture-raised organic eggs, you guys. Always. Always. They taste so much better. So Hunter has convinced me that there is this combination that he made the other day, which is little bacon crisps in here, and then we put the egg on top. Because so now, can I pour it now in? You're, now you're using the, the grease, grease as the, it. give it a little stir. Now it's coated. Okay, now I can do it? Yep. Just make it surprising. Just right on top of the bacon. Yep. Not, should we do two eggs? Yeah. Wow, that's gorgeous. I think that's a genius idea. You're getting salt from the bacon, so you don't even need oh, salt. Oh, so good. What's this flip, babe? Like literally the whole thing flips. Oh my god. <gasps> that was really nerve wracking. Wow. It's cool because the whole thing, including the bacon, it's like an omelet. It really is. Mm. Toast with a little bit of butter, and then waiting for my eggs to cook with a few, probably like two full pieces of bacon, just broken up into little things. Okay, here it is. Okay, now that I have finished breakfast, I am sitting down to start work and I'm having some iced coffee with a splash of cream. And that is what I'm having this morning. I think I'll probably go like a little lighter for lunch now that I had like kind of a hearty breakfast. So maybe like a green juice or something. I like to balance it out like that. So 
that's what I'm having, and I'll see you guys at lunch. Okay, just a little update for you all. So my goal today was to drink a gallon of water. So after, let's see, breakfast, I filled this up. This is a gallon. And I noticed that I just don't drink it if it's out of such a big vessel. <laughs> so it's just like too, too, too big of a, like a barrier of entry. Is that the right? I don't know what I'm saying. Anyways, so I have a mason jar next to it and I just pour in and I find that I drink it faster if I do that. So I'm like already almost done with the gallon and it is only 1.30 so I'm really proud of myself but I just was feeling like I didn't drink a lot of water the past few days and I literally needed to like hydrate my system. So I feel like that's why it's going down really well. But anyways, water, big tip, it's really good. And um, yeah, I haven't eaten any lunch yet. I'm still pretty full from, um, breakfast because it was like very dense so i'm thinking maybe i'll just like have a snack like in a little bit or maybe a juice and then i'll eat at dinner so that's the update okay it's about four o'clock and we are really hungry because we didn't eat any lunch, had lunch. So, we had breakfast today so we usually right, only have so. right. i know that's what i'm saying we usually yeah. only have two meals a day yeah so i think it bought us more time we're having like late lunch early dinner totally so this is what hunter made for us it's a toast with Mayonnaise, mustard. A little, a little bit of mayonnaise, Dijon mustard, salami, cheese, and avocado. Yeah. Just a little flat lay. Like a charcuterie board. I had this in a while. Mmm, oh god. We used to make this with turkey, but. That was so good. Wow. If you are new and just watching this, well, Caesar salad is kind of my specialty, and I have pretty much nailed like my signature Caesar recipe, and I home make my croutons my dressing everything and it's just to me like the best so i'm gonna show you guys my famous caesar recipe and here we go it's actually pretty easy but it makes all the difference in the world i've just started the crouton prep and basically we just literally cut the bread into cubes and we use just like a french or sourdough baguette great and this is actually like a couple days old, so it's kind of stale, which is actually perfect. And yeah, I'm gonna preheat the oven to 400. And I'm going to drizzle with olive oil. Not too much, because you don't want it to be too greasy. Oh. Garlic salt. They're good when they're salty, so. And then we're gonna toss them around. Make sure the oil's coated on all of them. A little pepper. I'll let the oven preheat, and then we will put those in for 15 minutes. Next, we have the dressing. So, I'm gonna get it out. Handy dandy. Favorite tool, which is my little food processor. Here are the ingredients for the dressing. So we've got mayonnaise, Dijon mustard, Worcestershire, um, olive oil. I switched olive oils to a higher quality one because I like prefer to use this in dressings. It tastes better. One lemon, two cloves of garlic, and red wine vinegar, and some anchovies. So, I'm gonna push these aside now that you've seen them, so you can watch the dressing we made. Okay, so first things first, we need to get two cloves of garlic out of here. Okay, for the garlic, I'm gonna take about, I have about three cloves, and you wanna smash it and peel it. And then you can just drop it in the food processor. Perfect. Next, we're gonna take the entire can of anchovies in olive oil, and we're gonna pour all of the anchovies in with the oil from the can. This is key because the oil, the anchovy oil adds a ton of flavor, and the anchovies give the Caesar like that traditional Caesar taste. So this is really important. Um, and you don't have to tell people that there's anchovies in it. It's just, it's 
Muy importante. So I like to grind those together. Perfect. Okay, once you have that, then we can go in for the rest of our ingredients. So we are going to juice one lemon. If you don't have a citrus squeezer, you need one. Okay, next is a few dashes of Worcestershire. You don't want to go crazy on this. I'm talking like one, two little dashes. Next is a tablespoon of Dijon. I just eyeball this. A tablespoon of red wine vinegar. And I'm gonna mix that all together. Now we add in the mayonnaise and the oil, which is gonna thicken it up a ton. Um, but here I'm gonna add a pinch of salt. This is kinda like a salt mixture, mixed with like some other little fun spices and peppers. Here we go, and I usually do about a quarter cup of mayonnaise. and a quarter or a third of a cup of olive oil. And I kind of add it, hmm, just try that first. Let's see how it feels when I pull it out. I'll just kind of look at the consistency, if it's too thick, too thin, and I'll taste it. Okay, it's good. Needs a little more oil, it's a little thick, and a little more lemon. My lemon was kind of small, so. I feel like you want like one large lemon, and I swear the Caesar dressing turns out like different every time I make it. Probably because I eyeball it, but that's kind of the fun of it. Needs a little more zest, it's like kind of flat. Okay. Much better. Okay, we're done with the dressing. Taste test. You want a taste test? Here, I'm using a spatula so I don't look like that. It's good. It's good, right? Perfect amount of lemon. Lots of flavor. Mmm, that's yeah. good. Okay, now I jar it. A jar, that'd be. And put it in the fridge. Mm mm mm. Um, we get the spatula and scrape it. Valuable. Every drop is Every gold. drop is gold. And I always, this is like how much dressing I make and this will give us like two days worth of Caesar. So at least two lunches and a dinner. a dinner. So it's like a lot of dressing, but I just keep the batch and then it's great. So it sets you up for the next day and the Caesar the next day is always so good. Do you want to lick the spatula? Do you want to lick the spatula? Toby's. Who looked the spatula of the cookies? The cookie, cookie dough or the cake mix when their parents were making Probably baked goods when they were kids? Oh, so many people. I feel like I never was a cookie dough person. Okay, took a little shower break and uh, I put in the croutons before I got in the shower. Almost burnt them. I don't suggest doing that. But I put them in at 400 for 15 minutes and they almost burnt. I would say you could probably even go more like 12 minutes. Um, okay. Next is to cook the chicken. See, like medium high. And just have two organic chicken breasts. Wow, sorry, that's good. And you don't have to do chicken if you don't want. I'm just gonna cook it because it'll be good to have tomorrow for lunch in the Caesar again. And I just wanna make sure that it's made. But, <clears throat> that lighting is terrible. I'm so sorry about that. There we go. Okay, um, so. We'll get a little olive oil. Do a little olive oil, like a tablespoon. It's heating up. We're gonna cook the chicken. Then all we have to do is cut the romaine, lettuce, and I'm gonna have Hunter shred the Parmesan cheese because I don't like shredding cheese. Not something I like to do. Let me test these out. Well, they'll do. They'll do. Mm 
Okay. One thing I want to tell you guys is this is key. If you get pre-shredded -sh Parmesan, it's just all it's these not little... The same. It's not the same. I'm just telling you. There's nothing wrong with that, and I used to do that, but once I started shredding my own Parmesan, it's a game changer. Like, this makes it all these little details, homemade croutons, freshly shred shredded cheese, your own chicken, these things, like, make a difference. Like, I promise. It just tastes different. So, Hunter's gonna... Oh, Trent's calling you. Put on speaker. Hey man. And I'm gonna go ahead and bag up about half the croutons for lunch tomorrow. And we'll use the other half for tonight. Okay, I'm gonna cook my chicken and I will come back and assemble everything. Sorry this is such a detailed breakdown, but you guys have asked to see the detailed breakdown of this, so. Here you go. Soak up all the dressing. Okay, bon appetit. There you go, there's the Caesar recipe we're gonna go enjoy. And we are also having a glass of red wine. A nice glass of wine. Mm -hmm. This is one of our favorite wines. Actually, Julia's dad got us on this wine. And it's where actually, we were going to have our wedding. We, we almost got married at this winery, but it's actually a really good price point and it's almost at every grocery store. So I, I feel know, like it's worth showing the bottle. You want to grab it? Yeah. <clears throat> so it's a family friend of Julia's parents. Their last name is... Benziger. Benziger. And so this is the winery. It's Benziger Winery. They also own another winery called Imagery. But Benziger and their, their family cab... Which is a really good cab. We don't really like cabs that much. Yeah, we're not big, but this one we like. It's not like too. And it's intense. like twelve dollars at the grocery store. So actually, really... it might be like twenty, but that's still no. a good price point for. It's, it's good. A, I think it's. I think it's like twelve ninety. Really? Yeah, like thirteen dollars. It's incredible, and it's so good for the price point. Like it's yeah. amazing. So you so should go get it. Go check it out. Benziger red wine. Cheers. See you tomorrow. Good morning. Okay, so starting off my day with iced coffee, which I brewed at home. Taking a little organic half and half. And stir it up. And I feel like I had kind of a heavy eating day yesterday. So I'm not quite hungry yet. So I probably just stick with coffee um, for this morning. It is like, this is my second cup, so probably a bit hungry pretty early around 11.30 or so. So I might have like an earlier lunch. Um, but I feel like yesterday with eating breakfast, I normally don't eat breakfast because I feel like it stirs up my metabolism. I can't speak. Stirs up my metabolism like to the point where I like want to eat so much heavier like all day. Not heavier, but I... I don't know, it does something to my system where I like want to eat all day and then I end up consuming way more calories than normal. So I feel like I'm like more of an intermittent faster. Um, that's just kind of like my style. So it works better for me and I find that I'm not super hungry in the morning when I wake up. If I'm hungry, like I'll totally eat, but um, I just feel like it's good. I'd rather have like a filling dinner and then, um, I don't know, do my coffee. Probably not the right thing to do, but here we are. So, um, yeah, I am gonna just have my coffee and I'll see you guys at lunch. Salad time. Ooh, hello. Okay, actually, I can just toss it in there. My, don't have to do as many dishes. So, put it a little chicken. Okay, cool. You cannot just not focus on. Come on camera, get your stuff.
stuff together. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna do about half this chicken. So I'm gonna save the other half for another one. Give it a little shake. Now, croots. Put some croots in. These are my favorite part. Not gonna lie, I go a little overboard on the croutons because I love them. Delish. Bada deet a bada dote. Okay, did I put too much dressing on this? Maybe. Eh, it's fine. Okay. Great. My dishwasher is yelling at me. I don't know why. Why? I don't care. There we go. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'm making my Italian salad and this is what it looks like. So you saw me chopping everything. Just to summarize, basil, garbanzo beans, tomatoes, provolone, salami, and cucumbers. And I'm just gonna throw together the dressing. The recipe says olive oil, red wine, Dijon, and oregano. So just gotta make that really quick. Let's see, we want. I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it. This one's out. Oh, that's out. Okay. Great. Red wine. Okay. Do like half the dressing, and I'll save the other half for this little guy. I have a feeling that lots of pepper is gonna be really good on this. Okay, let's do a little taste test, shall we? Really, really good. I feel like pepperoncinis would just push it over the edge. And enjoy this and go binge some YouTube. See you later.